right, so we've come down here tonight in Morgan City to the galley to check out some really good food here because I've heard there's a lot of good food at this particular little restaurant, uh, particularly a really good hamburger. So I think this evening we're gonna check out to see what kind of hamburgers that they have at this little place. So let's go inside and take a look. Places that you're looking for a little roadside grill while you're traveling or just somewhere you know, cost effective to eat that's really, really good food. You definitely want to make the galley a stop along the way. Um, they have a, a huge diversity of food here, a variety of different things that you can try. Um, but the, the galley is, you know, somewhere around $12. You have to eat a meal here per plate. So, family of four, 50 bucks. Let's go with the fried pickles. I got this thing about getting fried pickles just about everywhere I go. So, yeah. All the fried pickles are good? Yes, indeed. He loves them, yeah. I do. All right, so top line on here, you got your breakfast platters, you got the upper deck, which is all kinds of chicken fried steaks, six ounce steaks, you got waffles and pancakes, all kinds of different breakfast sides, including toasted biscuits, biscuits and gravy. So there's all kinds of stuff here in Morgan City. If you want to come here in the morning and have some breakfast, you got coffee, there's a kid menu here as well. The kid menu uh, items are around $5 a piece. A huge selection of different food types that you can get here. And the prices are pretty reasonable. All just under $12, around $12. What I want to get is the mushroom Swiss burger. Ooh, good choice. Just exactly the way it is. Okay. Right. Now what, well, actually, let me ask, how is it fully dressed? Mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. Mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles. Mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes. And then the mushroom cheese sauce, of course. All right. I'll probably take the mayonnaise off. Okay. Mm hmm Completely plain hamburger with a side order of fries. As I said before, I'm the most boring person ever when it comes to ordering food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but they're doing it your way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's always nice to be able to get exactly what you want me to get. Well, we're going to find out what that burger looks like in a little bit. Could be good. And what did you order? I ordered a burger with cheese and mayo only. What kind of burger was that? An all-American burger. <laughs> you gotta be specific. Okay, all-American burger. All right. Well. And I got sweet potato fries. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. I ordered the mushroom Swiss burger. Um, it comes dressed with lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and then a, a, a special Swiss sauce on it or something. A mushroom sauce. Lettuce, tomato. Was it pickles? Well, it had pickles too, right? Yeah, so, so the mushroom Swiss burger comes with lettuce, tomato, pickle, mayonnaise, and the mushroom Swiss cheese sauce. There you go. So the pickles have arrived. Um, you know how we do the pickles. So we're going to check these fried pickles out. Um, they are extremely crispy. They look fantastic. So I'm going to dip into this and see what they taste like. It comes with this uh, buttermilk ranch dressing. Um, so what I'm going to do is use one of these little plates they provided and put the butter ranch milk dressing in there and uh, see if we can put that on here. you got to have some ranch dressing when you're eating some fried pickles. So, fried pickles, as always, great. They're good. You all have to try the fried pickles. <laughs> Because you like your burger plain, so you're going to talk about your burger and what do you do, do to it? Of course. Well, first of all, I've already taken a bite out of it just to see what it's like before I add my seasoning to it. It's always a good idea to verify the flavor before you try to alter it. The meat is good. It's cooked, but it usually has a little bit of juice to it. It's not completely dry. I like my meat a little drier than most people like it, but it's still a little bit of flavor to it. It's excellent. On request, they brought out some red pepper for me to add to it. I like my food a lot spicier than standard cherries that come out. So I add a little bit of red pepper and a little bit of homey saturated to it. I have to it. Same with the fries. On the fries, they're nice, they're crisp. 
well cooked, obviously. Important for fries. I hate when fries are not soggy or dark to a crisp. It's a nice middle ground. Excellent general fries. I got a cheeseburger with only mayo. Uh, took a bite already. It's very, very good. Juicy and good. I got sweet potato fries. And I just put a little bit of ranch to dip my sweet potato fries in. And these are excellent as well. Yep. So I got the Swiss burger, of course. And uh, it comes with uh, the lettuce and tomato one the, and pickles. I did take the mayonnaise off of it, but we're going to... Um, Take a little look at this real quick before I get a bite. And it came with a good plate, a big old plate of onion rings here as well. All right, so we're gonna give this burger a try right here. Mushroom uh, Swiss. My mushroom Swiss burger, ready to go. Oh, look at this thing. This thing is really, really big. It looks juicy. Oh yeah, that thing looks fantastic right there. That's a big old burger. That's handmade patties, you can tell that. When you look at the meat, you can tell it's a hand-pressed, handmade patty. Take a bite of that. Mm. That is really fantastic. It's juicy enough, and it is nothing. <laughs> So make sure you get a napkin. Because you're going to have to clean up afterwards. If you like burgers and you travel in the country liking burgers, Gotta stop here. I've been to a couple burger joints and this one definitely rates up there very highly with all of them that I've been to. Onion rings as well. If you come down here to Morgan City, Louisiana, you have this dat sauce and uh, it is really phenomenal, cool hot sauce uh, that you can uh, pick up right here in Morgan City, Louisiana. They make this stuff. Right down here is the main office facility for the dat sauce um, definitely you want to try some of that um, you can get it in some stores locally in the area um, it's not quite distributed nationwide yet but uh, if I can find out where you might be able to find this stuff outside of a restaurant um, I'll put that down in the comments down below and let you know where you might be able to pick up a little bit of that dat sauce because this stuff is really good so what is the damage for this today it's not that bad actually for three people being able to eat it came out the 54.44. So for three people to eat, that's not a bad deal at all for the hamburgers that we got to eat today. Fantastic.